German police had started moving anti-nuclear demonstrators off of railroad tracks very early Monday morning. They were working to clear the way for a train carrying nuclear waste from a reprocessing plant in France. The waste was headed to a storage facility in Gorleben. The train had set off Friday, but its journey had been repeatedly disrupted by protests. After hours hauling off the last group clinging to the tracks and some added work cutting away clamps that had been left behind, police finally cleared the way. The train was able to start rolling again not long after dawn. Police protection extended along the rest of the rail route. They were out in force on foot, on horseback, and with vehicles. And so the train arrived at its destination despite the activists' best efforts. The protesters themselves appeared satisfied, though, having made their point about the dangers of a nuclear waste and the so-called caster containers designed to carry it. This is, uh I'm happy that the resistance was so big that the transport was repeatedly stopped a few times for several hours. And that through this, many people are aware of this nuclear madness. We want to do what's possible to get the message through how dangerous and crazy those transports are. If one thinks about the fact that the radioactivity of the caster containers is bigger than Chernobyl's was, once the train arrived at a depot in Dannenberg, the containers were unloaded to be placed onto trucks for the final leg of the journey to Gorleben. But police said more protesters were out blocking the road. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.